Okay, hi guys. So uh, we are back at Pieto Lake, and uh, we ran late this morning because uh, we both slept through our alarms, and yeah, that didn't work out too well. So we woke up at 5:37 when we wanted to leave at 5. So we kind of got here fast, and then once we got here, we did like a, a power walk for an entire mile, and we did it in like less than 10 minutes. So we are now at our spot. Actually, it's a little bit different of a spot. We're, we can see the other viewpoint from here, but uh, we're about 30, 40 feet past them because there was other photographers there, and we already got that photo yesterday, so we're changing it up a little bit. It's basically the same exact thing. So we're here. I'm out of breath. Um, one bad thing is that when we were walking, my tripod fell apart. So this little part right here that screws in uh, the safety lock thing majigger for uh, the camera uh, fell off it unscrewed completely and then fell off uh, so it's either in the woods or I really hope it's in the car um, the camera still goes on the tripod it's just not completely steady so that's that's really 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 annoying but it happens guys Nolan is a freaking legend we are hiking back. This was the piece that I was talking about that I lost off my tripod. It fell off. This screws and this unscrewed all the way. And I guess I didn't tighten it yesterday night when we were shooting here. Uh, and then we hiked. We hiked back to the car, right? And this fell off last night. And then today when we were hiking back, Nolan found it on the same walk that we did last night. And the thing was that we didn't, we walked differently this morning. So we thought it was going to be on the path this morning. But it turned out that it was on the path last night and Nolan found it. So thanks to him for uh, saving my tripod. That was very helpful. Uh, now, now it is time to go back to camp. So time to set up, take some photos, and then uh, drive back to camp and sleep again because we're tired like usual. So I'll talk to you guys after sunrise. Okay, so we're all done with uh, sunrise. Um, it was nice. I mean, I feel like we've been getting a bit unlucky with the whole sunrises, but uh, it happens. I mean, the light wasn't the best, but honestly, it's just such a cool place. Like last night, the light wasn't the best. That's why we came back, and we got <laughs> kind of uh, the same photos today. Um, I took another time lapse with my other camera, and it died in the middle of the time lapse, so that was kind of funny. But now we are going to pack up, go back to camp, pack up camp, which we should have done before we left, but whatever, details. Uh, and then we're driving from Banff through this, uh, the Icefields Parkway, and we're stopping at Sunwampta Falls. It's a really, really cool waterfall. And uh, then we're going to set up our camp at our new campsite. And then after that, then it's Athabasca Falls. Uh, correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um... But right now, just going to pack up. I might switch these lenses, put on my uh, zoom, and get a little shot of the glacier water mixing with the lake, which is kind of cool looking. So, uh, time to go back to camp, and I'll talk to you guys when we're at our first waterfall of the day. Hi guys, so uh, we're in Jasper now. We 
Whew, after this morning sunrise, we drove back to camp and we saw a bear on the way, a black bear, and that got some cool photos of that one. And then uh, we got some breakfast, packed up camp, slept a tiny bit, and then drove towards uh, north towards Jasper, where we are now. And uh, there is, we actually saw a grizzly bear that I spotted uh, on the way up here and then got more photos of that. So hopefully you like them. Hopefully I got some good ones. Um, but now we are in Jasper. It's the evening and we are at Athabasca Falls. Um, we skipped Sunwampta Falls this morning because it was just too bright out. So now we're here. Uh, then we're gonna do Sunwampta Falls right after this. So time to explore here and get some shots. Okay, so we uh, found the spot. Um, basically, we're not taking photos of the waterfall. We're taking photos of the river coming from the waterfall, going out into the open. We're in this like slot canyon type place, and um, the white water is right below us. And there's this beautiful tree and middle point over this way. That's what I'll be shooting. I'll probably go stand out next to the tree. Hopefully, it's a little bit of a sketchy spot, but. If I don't slip, I'll be okay. So let's hope for that and let's get some photos. Okay, so uh, the last I talked to you, I was down down here about to fall off a cliff. Um, but here we actually found the right shot. I don't know why I was like tumbling around down there almost falling into the water when this is a perfect bridge. And you just stand right there where Nolan is and get the perfect view of the, uh, the classic tree going across and then somebody standing in it. So we just did that. Now we're going to Sunwampta Falls, which is about 25 more minutes south. And it should be a little bit darker then, so I think the uh, water will look a little bit better than it did here. Um, whew, that's about it. So I hope you guys like those photos right now. And I'll talk to you at our next waterfall. Okay, so we made it here to Sunwampta Falls, and it is beautiful. I like it better than the last place. We actually got here, and there's uh, two other photographers. Uh, we got some photos right when the light was going away, and it was just, it was beautiful. So uh, I think we're about done. We only got a few shots on his film camera, actually, that he's been dragging around with us. So I think now we're gonna drive back and get some food because we're hungry and it's late. But these photos, I really like the photos here. So. See you guys tomorrow at sunrise. I believe we are going to, uh, I forgot. Oh, I go to say it and then I forget it. I wanna say one of the lakes. I forget the name of the lake. I'll, I'll tell you guys in the morning, honestly. So hopefully this morning we don't oversleep our alarms and I'll talk to you then.